Flapsy is a lab information management system. It works inside a browser and we generally support it on Chrome or Firefox browser. It includes the EMR forum right below it on the home on the login page where you can type in your queries as well as issues. In case the internet is on, you will see the EMR forum. The software is online, also you will see the EMR forum. Enter the username password and click on the login panel. You will see a dashboard which includes the various modules of the software, a quick search bar and a quick links bar. Modules include work order entry, patient record management, referrals, accession, accounts, management of the software, inventory and reports management. You also have a login status bar as well as a display alerts bar. Lapsy comes with two processes. One is a single screen entry for work order entry which includes the sample collection. A second work order process is entering just the work order, the tests as well as the bill and having a separate sample entry screen. The first process is usually useful for collection centers where the collection center enters the, the details of entire work order including the sample collection on a single screen. The second process is useful where each department is segregated and the sample collection happens in a different room with a different computer system attached to it. You have, you can see the ent entry of a work order for a single screen. You can also attach images of the patient. You can add a referring doctor which is an autocomplete option. Referring lab. You can select the tests. The tests have their test codes. They are bundled into various test groups as well as the actual test. Here you can select multiple tests. Automatically at the bottom, the various samples required for those tests are seen. Here you can enter the barcode ID or the sample ID. It is also seen that no two sample IDs can be same. Hence, it gives you a pop-up in case a sample ID already exists. This is as per the NADL guideline. Once the sample collection is done, automatically below you see that the total billing has been done. Simply enter the patient name and how much the patient has paid and click on save. You click on save and add next, it automatically takes you to the next entry or bank screen. This saves time when multiple work orders need to be entered. As you can see, you can see the entire schedule along with the test samples and the bill. You can now print the receipt, the bill, the entire schedule. You can email the entire schedule. You can also print the lab worksheet. You can uh, SMS a reminder to the patient that this is what they have registered for. Hence, a whole gamut of options are possible once the work order entry is done. The second method to enter a work order entry is through the work order status. Here you can see a list of all the times. You can simply select the time slot or click on the first time slot and you auto detect what is the time and put the entry there. The screen is very similar, however, with one big change. No sample collection takes place on the screen. You enter the demographic details, you select the doctor, you can select the test. You can also select whether the test can be, should be out. This test should be outsourced to another lab in case it is not done at your lab, but you send the sample to a second lab. After that, you can enter your uh, add the billing details. So the bill is also auto generated from a rate list which you have entered in the market. Again, the same options are possible below. Now you can see these entries in the work order status manager. Right now it's in green because it's incomplete. You can click on the name to update the schedule, the billing details to update the bill, sample collection, collection to collect the sample, or the test entry to actually enter the test. Here you can see the barcode ID, you can update it, you can collect the sample and click on sample collection. Also rejection of samples are possible or addition of new samples. Click on the reject button, enter the reason and the sample will be rejected. After this the test will not go ahead without a new sample being collected. Hence this again follows the NADL guideline. You can get a rejected sample list and also alerts can be created via SMS or display alerts to take things forward. You also have a sample collection single accession window module. What happens over here is that you simply select the dates or a certain type of test or other some other parameters and we show you all the samples related to the given search parameter. Here you can simply using one single screen click and collect all the samples. This is useful when a collection single collection center sends you a whole bunch of work orders. You simply access the screen based on the sample uh, the collection center and you can keep on selecting and collecting and verifying each sample. Similarly, a reports module is present where you can search for a bunch of reports for a given day, a given group, etc. Once you click on search, it will show you all the list of the tests. Click on the add button, enter the test parameter, save it, 
आप ही इधर गो टू द नेक्स्ट टेस्ट डायरेक्टली और गो बैक यू हैव अ टेम्पलेट बेस्ड रिपोर्ट एंट्री सिस्टम इन लैब से योर यू कैन एंटर द वैल्यूज एज अ रिजल्ट एंड इट ऑल्सो एज अ रेफरेंस रेंज बिल्ट इन टू इट इट स्टेप्स आउटसाइड द रेफरेंस रेंज यू कैन गिव सम काइंड ऑफ पॉप अप और अलर्ट यू कैन अटैच देशेंट्स द डॉक्टर सिग्नेचर टू दिस You can also print with the letterhead, without the letterhead. You can email the test report, SMS various test parameters from here. As you can see, now let's make the entry for the new test that we are having for this. You can see that the sample received on date is already present. The report date will be automatically present once the save button is pressed. The time is also auto detected. Enter the parameter values, put in the interpretation. Click on test completed. Hence, this test completed gives a two level validation to the whole system. If you want to activate that, once done, you can print with letterhead. You can print without letterhead. You can email the test report. You can SMS only particular parameters that you have selected. This can also be automated using the template editor. As you can see, once the whole process is done, it turns to brown. You click on report delivered once to indicate that the report has been sent to the patient. In case the bill is not paid, you can have an unpaid bill report which tells you which people have not paid at what amount. This helps to track your accounts. Patient record management allows you to access patient records together. You can search by using various parameters. You are searching using the name. Once the entry is in on rollover, to show you more details about the patient, click and you will see an entire screen with the demographic detail. The list of tests done, or the, all the schedules created, and the total billing of each year of the patient. You can email an SMS from here. You can also see graphs for certain parameters in case the patients have come more than once. These are usually for diabetes-based parameters. You can also access the test template from here. Here we are showing you a, a very, a much larger test template. There are over 480 built-in test templates in the lab. See. You can also create your own, more, or you can update the ones which are present. The account model allows you to add bill, search bill, look at bill reports across various time periods, add lab maintenance and expenses, and the view the ledger. The ledger will see, show you all the income inflows and outflows from the lab. This this can be printed or exported to Excel. So between two dates, you can actually see the ledger entries for your lab. Gives you a good idea of how the accounts in your lab are going. You can also update the service tax if required. The management options include adding staff and users. This is a single window entry. You can select what type of staff is there, what are their qualifications. You can add a new user to actually log into the system for them, or just have a, the staff entry. In case of a doctor, more details are captured, including the signature. Once you once the user is added, you can also select what access group they belong to. We have a separate separate access control module which we will show you just now, which lets you define page level what access can be done. Here is a list of all the staff that are present currently in this system. Clicking on access control again in the management module, you can define for each of these ten groups what can they access and what they cannot access. This can be down to the page level, or for an entire model. This helps you control who accesses what part of your software. So it's simple to use UI makes it very easy to decide and allocate. Next is the sample list. You can add new sample types as and when new tests come about. Lab information allows you to update lab information. Outsource information allows you to create lab. Labs which you outsource to, and you can all not only that, but you can also see the outsource credit for the lab overall. The template editor is the heart of the software. Here you can create new tests and attach templates to them. The template builder allows you to enter the test name, test code, write down to every detail, the rate list, what samples need to be collected, also define the entire structure, including the column bits. For each Label or box. It allows you to define what type of box it is, what validation it needs to have. Apart from this, you can also have define an SMS template. You can define formulae as well as define 
in case any inventory has to be auto debited when this test is completed and let's do entire software from here in case of template editor you can actually see all the 480 templates that we have present, we have present in the software you can update any one of them that you want simply click on the update option you will see a completely created template in this case we select the chemogram where you can see that all the details are present and then once you click on any parameter and you can actually update it a very simple and easy to use formula system is also present in the software simply pick one parameter and put in a formula just as you would put it in excel this way you can define formulas to auto calculate inside the template certain things apart from that you can also sms using the software you can actually define the sms template where the parameter can be auto picked by the software let's actually fill one template and see the formula it work i'm filling the parameter as you can see below for mcv mch and mchc mchc the values are getting auto filled you can also have drop downs in the template so in this way the template editor works next you have insurance and healthcare management here you can actually define hospital insurance companies which uh send patients to you and track their total billing for the month profile management allows you to create profiles of select group of tests with a single rate list this allows you to give better packages to patients and without the headache of tracking them on paper you have an sms and email archive for times when sms and emails have not gone due to internet connectivity being down you can actually auto send them from here directly apart from this you can send about the sms and email bill next is the collection center the collection center basically allows you to manage collection centers you can create all the collection center details select the rate list that they have that is applicable to them apart from that also define what is their credit limit what is their deposit required here you can see a single collection center with the total deposit credit limit total billing amount paid and what is their status here you can lock or unlock the system you can also do credit and debit notes to keep on continuing collection center also has their own login modules to see to log in and enter work order entries you can also do data backup of the system you can also create default sms and email entries which you can auto pick while sending this allows you to save time by creating templates next we have the inventory module the inventory module allows you to add inventory as vouchers which get auto debited in the accounts you can also see product below limit you can see your entire product list you can attach inventory to a template and they get auto debited hence the very automated system next is the referrals you can add new referrals add rate list for referrals and for every referral then you can see a credit status of how many patients they have referred and in case there is any amount due to them you can also export this to excel next we have the quick search bar on the right side you can search by patient name bill number schedule number sample code you can also add alerts in the system for another user you can this can be display email or sms alerts you can select the user and set item the message at a given date and time that you have selected the display sms or email alert will go if sms and email internet is required next we have the help desk bar where you can define for all the rollovers text that you would like to tell your user here we can see that we are entering using one of the collection center ids once you enter the email uh, uh, username password and click on login we see a similar look but on top we can see that we have logged in using aparna clinic bcc what is our balance as you can see a lot of things have been denied to the collection center they can only enter work orders they can only see accounts pertaining to them they can also only see samples and reports ka status only pertaining to them this is where flapsy is used thank you